in today's session we are going to discuss in case of group element this important point what is first one what are important uses of inert gas element that is group 18 elements then in addition to that we will discuss different types of compounds of inert gas element with respect to oxidation state of that particular element then number of bonding pairs of electron lone pairs of electron and in addition to that we will discuss hybridization so first part is important for first and second level mcqs you can uh, easily check papers previous papers for je mains neat as well as cet and second part is also important for second and third level mcqs what are different types of compounds of inert gases element what are oxidation state how many bonding pair how many lone pair and what kind of hybridization will be present in case of that particular species so these two important points we are going to discuss in detail in today's session so let us start with first part that is uses of inert gas elements not all the elements asked for board exam only one or two element will be asked so let us start with this point uses of group 18 elements at least you should be able to write one use for each element remember what are the inert gases element first one is helium what about second one neon third one argon then krypton after that xenon next one radon so these are the elements not all the elements we are going to write in case of board exam with respect to uses of inert gas element only one or two element will be given to you according to that you have to write at least one or two points so in case of helium try to remember first important use it is useful in metallurgical operations to provide inert environment remember inert environment will be provided in case of metallurgy what about second important use it is used to fill balloons as well as air ships so these are some important uses of helium now in case of neon can you tell me it is used to fill what type of lamp sodium vapor lamps in addition to that it is useful in television sets in addition to that spark plugs rectifiers voltage stabilizers these are important uses of second inert gas known to be neon in case of argon try to remember it is used in special type of chromatography known to be gas chromatography in addition to that it also provide inert atmosphere for <coughs> welding and cutting of the metals that is another important use of argon now next member when we are dealing with krypton can you tell me student remember it is used in high efficiency miners cap lamp so those persons which are working in different types of mines so high efficiency miner cap lamps krypton is used in addition to this use it is also used in krypton atomic lamps and another important use of krypton in case of airport in case of light signals when we are dealing with another important inert gas known to be xenon so remember this xenon is useful in which one corresponding important use of xenon so this xenon is useful to fill electric bulbs that is filaments of incandescent electric bulb that filling we are dealing with with respect to xenon so this is another important use of xenon now if we are dealing with another important inert gas element that is radon so remember it is used in research work in case of radio chemistry then in the treatment of cancer that is chemotherapy it is useful gas that is known to be radon so try to remember important uses of group 18 element helium it is used to provide inner environment in metallurgy in addition to that to fill balloons and airships what about neon 
to fill sodium vapor lamp it is also useful in television sets spark plug voltage stabilizer etc argon it is used in gas chromatography it is also used to provide inert atmosphere in case of welding and cutting of the metals in case of krypton it is useful in high efficiency miners cap line krypton is also useful in case of krypton atomic lamps and in addition to that it is useful in signals in case of airport runways and when we are dealing with xenon so it is used to fill in candescent filament of electric bulb and in case of radon what are the important uses it is used in research work for radio chemistry in case of cancer treatment and x-ray photography these are the important uses of group 18 elements now shift towards another important point that is much more useful for mcqs try to remember So different compounds are possible in case of inert gas element under specific conditions. These compounds we are going to discuss in short. So check this tabular form if we are dealing with this one. That is compound. Then we have to indicate oxidation state of particular group 18 element. In addition to that we are dealing with number of bond pairs of electron and then we will indicate hybridization in case of that particular species. So check one by one if we are dealing with this one. Xenon difluoride. What is this? Xenon tetrafluoride. Xenon hexafluoride. After that XeO3. Then XeO correspondingly F4. So can you tell me student what is the oxidation number of group 18 element such as Xenon what about bonding pairs? How many bonding pairs are present? And what is type of hybridization? If we are dealing with this one, XeF2. Can you tell me, student, what is the oxidation state? As per redox reaction in class 11, fluorine always shows minus 1 oxidation state. So minus 2 charge is balanced by xenon. So what is the oxidation state here? Plus 2. What about bonding pairs? Two fluorine atoms are attached to xenon. So there will be presence of equal number of bonding pair. And what about hybridization as per this formula? X is the hybrid orbital, valence electron plus monovalent atom, charge on cation, charge on anion. Put values accordingly. What is valence electron in case of xenon? Octet is completed, 8. How many monovalent atoms are attached to it? 2. Fluorine has valency, 1. Charge on cation, anion will be 0. So x equal to 8 plus 2, 10 into half. So x equal to 5. x equal to 5 indicate which hybridization? SP3D. How many hybrid orbitals are there? 5. 1 is 3P4 and 1 D orbital. So likewise, you can easily check what are the hybridization in case of remaining species. So check one by one for a second example in front of you. Xenon tetrafluoride. What is oxidation state here? Each fluorine carries minus 1, 4 fluoride ions, minus 4 charge, cancelled by xenon, plus 4. According to that, how many bonding pairs will be there? 4. Now tell me hybridization in case of xenon, valence electron 8, monovalent atom 4. So 1 by 2 into 12, 6. So 6 indicate one hybridization, sp3d2. How many orbitals should be there? 6. 3p orbital, 1s orbital, 4 plus 2, d orbital, 6. What about xenon hexafluoride? Minus 6 charge cancelled by xenon, so it becomes plus 6. What is the oxidation state of xenon in xenon hexafluoride? Plus 6. What about bonding pair? Equal bonding pair will be present. Now, what is hybridization in case of XCF6? Outermost shell carries 8 electrons, 6 monovalent atom, 8 plus 6, 14. 14 into half, 7. So, 7 orbitals will be there. So, tell me hybridization, sp3d3. 3p orbital, 3d orbital and 1s orbital. Total how many orbitals are there? 7 in case of xcf 6 Now, if we are dealing with xco 3 tell me what happened in xco 3 Each oxygen carries minus 2 charge. So, minus 6 charge cancelled by xenon. So, again what is 6? Oxidation state. How many bonding pairs should be there? 6. Remember this one. Now, how to identify hybridization? This is found to be xenon. No monovalent atom will be there. So 1 by 2 into 8 equal to 4. And that will indicate which hybridization? SP3. 
Now in case of XCOF4, tell me what is oxidation state? 4 fluoride minus 4. What about oxygen? Minus 2. So minus 6 is cancelled by xenon. What is charge here? Plus 6. So bonding pair also 6. Oxidation state also 6. Remember this one. Now in case of this one, hybridization, tell me xenon, octet completed 8. No monovalent atom with respect to oxygen, fluorine, 4 atoms are there. So 8, 4, 8 plus 4, 12. 12 into half indicate 6. And what about this one? Another oxygen atom will be there. So according to that, you can easily check what kind of hybridization will be there. So remember, this is important tabular form. So many compounds in case of MCQs already exist in various entrance exams with respect to JE mains, NEET as well as CET. So in addition to introductory part, configuration, properties, uses, you should be familiar with what kind of hybridization, how many bonding pair, how many lone pair, what is oxidation state. Suppose you have to calculate lone pair of electron. Tell me how many hybrid orbitals are there? sp 3 d 3, 4, 5. How many monovalent atoms are there? 2. So lone pair of electrons can be indicated as equal to 3. In case of XCF4, tell me. 3 plus 2, 5 plus 1, 6. Out of 6, 4 monovalent atoms are there. So, lone pair of electron equal to 2. According to that, we can easily find out oxidation number of inert gas element, number of bonding pair of electron, number of lone pair of electron. And in case of that, you should be able to identify what type of hybridization will be there. And according to that, in next MCQ session, we will discuss how to recognize geometry of particular compound.